He says, I bless the Most High and I praise and honored him that liveth forever, whose dominion is an everlasting dominion, and his kingdom is from generation to generation. And all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing. And he doeth according to his will in the army of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth. And none can stay his hand or say unto him, what doest thou? At the same time, my reason returned unto me. And for the glory of my kingdom, mine honor and brightness returned unto me. And my counselors and my Lord sought unto me. And I was established in my kingdom and excellent majesty was added unto me. Now, this is also interesting, too, because after seven years of acting like an animal and acting like a beast, God was still able to take that same person then and lift him back up to have the same status that he had before. Because you might think, well, after that, how could anyone come back from that? I mean, his opponents, his adversaries are going to have a field day with that. Oh, what are we going to have? This animal, this beast come back and, 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 you know, he's already blown it and we can't trust this guy or whatever. Well, God's able to bring him back and give him his position back if he wants to. God can lift people up out of the lowest place and he can bring people down from the highest place. I do think it's important to understand what's going on around us and not to be ignorant of what's going on around us. It's important what's going on, but let's keep a biblical perspective of just understanding who's in charge and follow the path that God would have us to follow. Fret over the things that God would have us fret about and don't fret over the things that he wouldn't have us fret about. And here's the thing, even when wicked people are in charge, like the pharaohs or Nebuchadnezzar's, and they're bringing oppression on people, well, you know what? If you're living right, guess who can deliver you from that? Guess who's going to save you from that? Guess who's going to hear your prayers and hear your cry? The Lord will. And then do you think it's going to matter at all how powerful that, that wicked person is? No. Because God could bring deliverance, and he will bring deliverance. And he has brought deliverance. He's proven himself over and over and over again. And we're going through the whole book of Psalms and you can, you can listen in if you haven't been on the Wednesday night Bible studies. We'll see over and over and over and over again that the theme in the vast majority of them is God's deliverance. And it says in verse 37 there, Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise and extol and honor the king of heaven, all whose works are truth and his ways judgment, and those that walk in pride he is able to abase. Now, just because a king is established, I mentioned this already, it does not make him a good king. It doesn't mean, oh, yeah, great, God, you know, people are just like, oh, yeah, God gave us Trump and God bless, you know, all this stuff. It's like, you don't realize he's not blessing us. <laughs> he's not, like, people get deceived into thinking that it is. And, I, and see, so you know what, God may have done that, but I did do that. He set up the ruler, but it's probably not for the purpose you think so. In, uh, in Exodus Chapter 9, verse 16, we see an example of God raising up Pharaoh. And you don't have to turn there. Turn, if you would, to 2 Kings. 2 Kings 22. We're going to go through a lot on there. In Exodus 9, verse 16, the Bible says, And in very deed for this cause have I raised thee up. For to show, and this is, this is the word of the Lord speaking to Pharaoh, okay, just in context of Exodus 9, 16. And in very deed for this cause have I raised thee up for to show in thee my power and that my name may be declared throughout all the earth. So he's telling Pharaoh, I raised you up to be in this position right now for my own benefit, for my own glory, so that the whole world is going to know that there's a Lord in heaven. That's why you're in the position you're in right now, because Pharaoh is full of pride too. Who is the Lord? He thinks he's there because he's so great and he can abuse whoever he wants and there's going to be no repercussions because who is the Lord anyways? And God said, you know what? The only reason you're in that position is because I wanted you to be in that position so that everyone can see how mighty and powerful I really am and that there is a God of the earth and there is a God of heaven. And it's the Lord. 